So, <clears throat> as you can see, boom. I've hit the California aqueduct. And so you see what I've been telling you. It's nothing like it seems. It's what I've been telling you. Oh, you'd learn what I mean if you came. But the risk are you willing to take? So those of us that decide to camp at this windmill farm, there's this like a little bridge and there's some water, but you know, people camp all the way down this little ravine, all the way over in this little lowland. Well, I was directly under this, under this bridge, sleeping like a hobo. Uh, I was, I thought I would be protected by the rain, but not the case. So last night it rained most of the night. And so everybody, Everybody had the same idea. They uh, waited for a late start this morning to let their stuff dry out. Uh, it's just much more comfortable loading up mostly dry stuff. And, uh, uh, and it does make it comfortable in the evening when it gets cool to not have to mess with wet tents or damp sleeping bags. So, late start this morning. Now, these windmills... Like you can see them churning behind me back here. And uh, uh, these things are massive, man. They're, let me just show you this. Okay, so let me show you why I decided to camp at a lower elevation uh, let me get up here a little bit okay so when I was coming in there were clouds rolling in and uh, I knew it was like a 20% chance of rain uh, the wind was blowing pretty good especially in this wind farm uh, you would I wanted to get keep out of the wind if I could but more importantly I wanted to stay out of that so you see how low them clouds are? Last night, you could see the tops of those uh, mountains. And, uh, well, you can see some of them over here, okay? So what happens is those cl that cloud cover drops down in the mountains, uh, down in there, and it just covers you up with fog. So, in short, it would still be 10 o'clock in the morning up there. And you would be like, uh, I won't say miserably wet, but a different kind of wet. At least down here at the lower elevation, you get uh, some rain. So in the rain, stuff gets damp because the air gets damp. But when you're up there or in any kind of cloud cover, that fog just like wafts inside of your tent. And uh, everything inside of your tent gets pretty wet. A lot a lot more more damp than what it would just because you're in a tent in the rain so it was a good call Okay, so this is a perfect example why if you have an opportunity and you're not bound by any deadline uh, to uh, make a decision to camp at a lower elevation. Okay, this morning we, we uh, woke up to rain that uh, was going on throughout the night. Sun popped out, dried everything out real quick and, and uh, gave us a later start so now I'm headed up the hill with the lighter pack dryer gear and I'm only a thousand feet above where I was and I've already entered into uh, 
you know, cloud cover a little bit, and the rain's still uh, hanging around. But to add to that, just like down at the bottom, you had wind, but even more importantly, you have uh, at least at least a 10 degree uh, drop in temperature between the two. So unless you're governed by time or some kind of distance, some kind of distance go for a day, then uh, it's always a little wiser for the most part to set up camp at a lower elevation. I learned this through best practice research, let's say. Anyway, thought I'd share it, it's a good tip. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing How can I find the answers I don't even got to Okay, still day 41 Crossing over into HP In the high desert, mid-May It's freaking snowing at first it was rain, spitting a little bit of sleet, but it's snowing up here. So, I, you know, you, what I found out with these cameras, you cannot really uh, pick up the, you know, the little spits of snow and, and the like, but take my word for it, it's snowing up here. And uh, honestly, I'd rather for it to be snowing than raining with cold wind. So, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you so that you may share in my suffering. Because it's chilly, like cold, like snot running, fingertips numb cold but luckily I have my shiny raincoat which protects me so I rolled into highway 58 from the windmill factory <clears throat> which is like 23 or 24 miles something like that between 22 and 24 somewhere so let's just say 23 uh, the last eight miles or so was uh, it first started out as a little bit of mist and then it went into snow and sleet, which was fine. Uh, and the entire time there was lots of wind. And then as I dropped down out of the, the little bit higher elevation, it turned into rain and that cold wind, which got miserable. My, my, my pants were so wet, they were stuck, stuck to me. And uh, I wanted to record coming into town, um, but my camera was so wet that uh, I mean it was it was soaking wet so I'm hoping there's no long-term damage but anyway I get to my room and I get checked in get everything dried out and now I want to show you something that's out here on my foyer that mama pigeon right there has built her nest in the sea. So talk about cool. Anyway, 
I got to head to the post office, take care of some postal stuff with a package that uh, my girls sent me. And then, um, fingers crossed, there's no long-term problems with the, with the camera here. We'll see. Big Papa. Okay, uh, I'm back in my hotel room after hitching, getting a ride over to Mojave and back uh, on a bus. This is a approximately a five day resupply, or it could be this could actually be you know 100, 110 to 120 miles worth of food here. The only thing that I'm going to add to this package here is I'll probably add a few, uh, uh, like candy snacks, like M&Ms or something like that. So let's get um, an understanding of what we got here. We have uh, five dinners here, which is a, a, a protein type of uh, uh, carbohydrate, like this is quinoa, and then we have protein uh, it's either going to be chicken or tuna in the the package packages and there's five of those now this is quinoa let's see quinoa rice uh, rice and then this is uh, some type of noodle which looks heavy but it's very light so those there's five dinners Here's five breakfast. Now these are hearty, uh, heartier oats. So this is probably the equivalent of two packages of oatmeal, and then there are um, almonds and pecans in there, and then some more would be almonds, pecans, and then dried, dried uh, fruit like I see strawberries there. So. Five very, very filling, hearty breakfasts, which is really what you need to start your day off. And then here's midday snacks. Now, some of these midday snacks are um, like uh, this is called uh, fruit leather, which is a, a chunk of um, um, dried fruit. And there is this is a crepe. This is a, a protein infused crepe. And then some energy energy uh, nuggets there. Um, other, other, uh, there's a mixture here. So there's a more crepes, peanut butter packages, and dried leather. Um, and, and it goes on. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those. And then some M&Ms. So some lunch snacks. And then here's some um, this here's some flavoring that was that was sent to me. Uh, there's some freeze dried fruit, which is uh, freeze dried strawberries and freeze dried mangoes, which I'm sure that I'll throw into into the uh, uh, the breakfast stuff, and then probably eat straight out of the uh, um, the bag alone. This here is uh, my girlfriend's mother um, dried some green onions for me. Here are some extra flavorings and some uh, additional um, peanut butter packs. So this flavoring is uh, extra spicy uh, Mrs. Dash. And then there's some bouillon cubes in here. And then these are crunchy uh, Thai rice chips. And they are very good. So this whole resupply is about two and a half pounds. It's not, it's not heavy at all. Uh, like I said, what I'll add to this, which is a five-day, a five-day resupply, I'll, uh, or a hundred, you can you can focus it on uh, about a hundred and uh, between a hundred and 120 miles, give or take how tired I am or how healthy my feet stay up. But anyway, like I said, the only thing I'll add to this is probably some peanut butter or Snickers bars or something like that to one for each day.